Is this star more ancient than the cosmos? A star that appears to be older than the entire universe was discovered by scientists. Of course, this is something that needs to be thoroughly studied. If such a star did exist, it would have a significant impact on how we perceive the cosmos. Although it goes by the name Machucella, this star's official designation is HD 140283. Methuselah's data analysis left astronomers in awe because the star appeared to be considerably older than the universe. How do you describe that? To learn more about it and our universe, watch this video with me. Let's provide some figures. What is the age of the Earth? It is extremely old, about 4.5 billion years old. It is such a large amount when compared to the age range we encounter in our daily lives. We are having a pretty difficult time trying to comprehend how large that number is. But Earth is not the only object that has ever existed in the universe, and it is not even the oldest. For instance, the Sun is a prerequisite for having Earth. Thus, we can inquire as to the age of our Sun. And it appears to be a little older than the Earth. It is roughly 4.6 billion years old. Going backwards, the Big Bang, which produced stars like the Sun, was an enormous explosion. We are all aware that everything began with the Big Bang. So to know the age of the cosmos is to know when such an explosion occurred in the past. Do you have a rough idea of their age as well? The age of the cosmos can be inferred in a variety of ways. The one that is most frequently utilized employs so-called Hubble diagrams. The major reason is that light travels at a fixed constant speed, c, which means that everything we see in the universe is no longer as we view it through our telescope. The amount of time it takes for a light beam to travel from the surface of a star to the Earth, or, more precisely, to our telescope, is the same amount of time it takes for light to travel from a star to us. With the help of these crucial details, we may comprehend what a Hubble diagram is. The astounding discovery made by Hubble was the identification of a law, the so-called Hubble constant, which explains how the cosmos expands. However, he also discovered a correlation between the object's distance from us and the so-called redshift, which is the displacement in star line spectra brought on by the Doppler effect. This implies that distance information is converted from redshift information. The constant with the inverse unit of time limits both v, the speed, and d, the distance. As a result, all we get if we take the inverse of the Hubble constant is a number that somewhat approximates a time quantity. The inverse of the Hubble constant is something significant, with a clear physical meaning, if you look closer and with the eyes of an astronomer. The amount of time needed for the universe to grow to its current size, assuming that the Hubble constant has not altered since the Big Bang, is known as Hubble time. Therefore, one can determine the age of the universe using the Hubble constant value. Although this is only an approximate estimate, it can at least provide a sense of scale. For instance, is it much older than that, or is it on the scale of millions of years? It might be many billion years old. Therefore, obtaining a very accurate approximation of the Hubble constant is the ultimate goal. Plotting the observed object's distances versus their velocities will help us get there. Doesn't it sound extremely amazing? However, there is a minor issue. Which distance indicator is the most potent? Every time we have a distance measurement for a specific celestial object, we are making some assumptions. The measurements we have are not the most accurate we can get. Type 1a supernovae are a class of objects discovered by astronomers that have excellent distinguishing characteristics, making them excellent distance markers, or candles as astronomers refer to them. Supernovae of Type 1a are so incredible candles. We can plot everything in a graph if we can determine how far away a group of supernovae are from us, and analyze their velocities relative to us using the displacement of light spectra brought about by the Doppler effect. The result will be a straight line, and the Hubble constant will serve as its slope. It took astronomers a long time to figure out which candle was brighter than the others and how supernovae could be employed for this purpose. But as of right now, we are aware that the Hubble constant is approximately 71 km per second per mpc, km per second per megaparsec. 
As a result, the Hubble time is estimated to be around 14 billion years. But keep in mind that the universe has existed much longer than this. It is merely stating that the cosmos is around that old. In reality, the expansion rate was quicker in the past, though it is presently thought to be accelerating once more, therefore the true age of the universe is a little bit less than the Hubble period. The universe is 13.8 billion years old, which is the most exact estimate we currently know. And this is the reason the shock. When scientists examined Matusela, they discovered that it was almost 14.5 billion years old. What was happening there? Let's attempt to describe what transpired. Before moving forward let's emphasize something crucial. Science occasionally produces results that you are aware are incorrect, but you are unable to determine why. This often results in highly interesting science as well as some intriguing hypotheses. As when you discover a star that seems to be older than the universe, for instance. Such was Methuselah's circumstance. It is a sun-like star that is 200 light-years away from Earth, which is relatively close for stars. It has long been known that it is a unique type of star, one that we refer to as low metallicity. The early universe was primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, and heavier elements, which astronomers refer to as metals for historical reasons, didn't appear until big stars created them in their cores, burst, and sent them sleeting out into space to be integrated into newer stars. This implies that younger stars have more heavy elements and older stars tend to have fewer heavy elements. Because why not, we utilize the Sun as a reference point. By that standard, HD 140283 is 1 250th or 0.004 as metallic as the Sun. According to one calculation made in 2013 using the Hubble Space Telescope, the planet is 14.5 plus or minus 0.8 billion years old. This is a serious issue. Is this star older than the cosmos as a whole? Hopefully not. Let's emphasize another issue here before getting to the point. Uncertainties in measurements are a concern for scientists. While conducting experiments and making observations, other unanticipated things can occur because our apparatus is not perfect, in fact, it is far from ideal. As a result, whenever we get a conclusion, especially when discussing stars or other distant objects, we have to cope with uncertainty. The numerical errors for the mass estimate of Matusela, the component, are rather significant. How can we comprehend it more fully? Given that 14.5 plus 0.8 is equal to 15.3, and 14.5 minus 0.8 is equal to 13.7, it is certainly feasible that Methuselah is younger than previously believed. There is not a single astronomer on the world who believes that the star is older than the entire cosmos. In this situation, attempting to reduce the uncertainties is the scientific thing to do. Obtaining the distance is one way to determine how bright something is in reality. We may measure brightness on Earth and then adjust for distance to know how much light something is emitting, which is termed luminosity. Recent developments have been helpful in this case, therefore a team of astronomers decided to revisit this star. They made use of software that builds models of stars' evolution over time based on their basic characteristics, such as mass, brightness, elemental composition, and so on. They discovered that the star has a mass that is 0.81 plus or minus 0.05 times greater than that of the Sun, giving it an age of 12.01 plus or minus 0.05 billion years. Matusela was created after the Big Bang, making it comfortably younger than the universe. Of course yes, everything is perfectly balanced, as it should be, as Thanos quotes. A remarkable scientific feat that offers compelling support for the Big Bang theory of the cosmos is the similarity between the ages of the universe and this ancient neighboring star, which have been established using different analytical techniques. When stellar ages were approaching 18 billion years or, in one case, 20 billion years in the 1990s, the issue with the age of the oldest stars was much worse. The ages are now in agreement notwithstanding the uncertainty in the determinations. Here's where the video ends, thank you everybody for watching. What are your thoughts on Matusela? Do you ever feel like the cosmos is older than you? 
Tell us in the comments section below, and we'll see you again soon.